Hey guys, it's Katie here with Life of Mundane and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm excited to show you guys how you can set up your peaceful planner as a digital resource for you and your family. If you guys are not familiar with Pizza Planner, be sure to stick around because this video is sure to wow you. This is my favorite planner hands down for daily use. So let's get started. Hi, my name is Katie and welcome to Life of the Mundane. I am a second generation homeschool mom of six beautiful kiddos and on this channel we talk all things resources. I love to share with you resources that are going to help you in your homeschooling and help encourage you in your biblical parenting and how you can utilize those to their fullest potential so that you can make the most of the little moments. The Peaceful Planner was created by Wendy over at Plan Prep Pray. You guys should definitely go check out her channel. She is a whole wealth of information when it comes to organization systems, home management, and homeschooling. This planner has got everything for a homeschool mom. She definitely created with a homeschool mom in mind. It's got places for your lesson plans, for your curriculum picks. It has places for your monthly calendar, your weekly calendar, and your daily to-do list. There's a section in the back full of an area where you can track your field trips, where you can track your child's clothing sizes, where you can track the different books that you've read or that your child has read, and so much more. This planner is really, truly an all-in-one. And today I'm excited to share with you guys how I made it digital. The first thing that you're going to need beyond just the peaceful planner is you're going to need, you're going to need a PDF editor or note taking app. I like to use good notes. It's just my personal preference. I believe it is about $7 and it's a one time purchase fee and you can get that on your device. I believe you can use this on your phone, but I do prefer to use it on a tablet. So just keep that in mind. Once you've downloaded that PDF editor, now it is time to go get the planner. Once you have purchased your peaceful planner on the website that I will link down below, you can open it up in this format. So you'll click on the PDF link that she sends you. Open in Google Drives. This is very, very important. At this point, you'll be able to see the item. It may ask you to request permission to use it. If you simply click on that button, it will automatically give you permission. But when you scroll down, you should be able to see everything in the planner from this point on. Now it is the time that we're going to download it into our PDF program. You'll either see an up arrow or just click on the three little dots here and say that you want to open it in. It'll then prepare your PDF document and then you can scroll down to open in GoodNotes, which is why we needed to download that app before you did anything else. We're going to then import it as a new document and now you're in the PDF planner. So now this is where your planner is going to live and it is phenomenal. So like I said, you can scroll through all the pages just like a physical planner. You can click on the four little boxes at the top and it will show you the entirety of the planner and we're going to do some major rearranging here in just a second. When you get into the planner, you are able to type into the planner. So you simply click on the text box up here and then you can type in on your keyboard whatever you want to write. So I'm gonna put belongs to Katie Wakis. And then I can move that wherever I want. I can change the font, change the size, all that fun stuff, okay? So that is one way you can do it. You can also purchase a pen for your planner. This is not an Apple pen because I'm not made of money. So I bought a very inexpensive knockoff for about 20 bucks and it has worked amazing. I will link it down below if you guys wanna check it out. What this allows me to do is to be able to click the pin here and through Bluetooth compatibility, I can now write on this planner as if it was a paper planner. So my kids can come scribble all over it just like they do with my paper planner. But unlike with my paper planner, I can simply press undo and clear it all off. And there we go. Now that we have the basics, now that we have the planner in the PDF editor, now it's time to make it our own. And here's the fun part. I know that was a little technical. If you're still sticking with me, here's the fun part. We get to make this whatever we want to make it. So start thinking about what do you want in your peaceful planner? Do you want all the bells and whistles? Is there aspects to it that you don't want? For me, I don't use this for my homeschool planning because it is more of a weekly spread and I use a different planner to plan just monthly. Um, but I love to use a lot of the other pieces to it. So right now I'm going to go in and get rid of the homeschool planning pages, but you can keep those for sure. And I'm going to start moving some things around to make this work best for me. So we're going to go back to that four tiles right here. And this 
this is where everything can be moved around. We're going to go through, and right now it is set up such that it is set, if you were to print it out, it would be all in order. So month is your two month spread along with the priorities and goals section, which I love where you set monthly goals for yourself. If you wanna do monthly meal planning, you have note sections. I love these pages. They've got a weekly spread. This is part one, part two of that. This is where you are supposed to do your homeschool planning. Again, weekly spread. And then here's your weekly meal planning, another note section. And then this is where we get into those daily to-do list pages, which is like my absolute favorite part. But I don't need all of that. So I'm simply gonna go through and I'm going to take out any of the pages that I don't use. I don't do monthly meal planning. I'm just not that organized. So I can click on a little arrow to the bottom and I can just move to trash. I also don't use the, um, the homeschool planning like I mentioned before. So I'm just going to get rid of that as well. So now I just have the monthly spread. I have the notes section. I have the weekly spread and then the daily sheets. So the weekly spread I actually use for my business stuff. I don't use that for my home stuff. For my home stuff, I just use my monthly calendar and my daily to-do list. So I can now move around these pages by simply clicking on it, holding it, and dragging it around. This allows me to create sections in my planner that is really going to rock your world, okay? The first thing I wanna do is I want to duplicate these calendar pages because I want to have all 12 months up front in the front of my planner so that I can easily just flip back and forth between the months and I don't have to flip between all of these in between pages in the meantime. I'm gonna click on that arrow again and duplicate my page, duplicate my page, and I'm gonna do that 12 times. Now that I've duplicated both sides of the page, I need to put the sides together because right now I've got 12 of one part of the two page spread and 12 of the other parts. So I'm gonna put those together real fast by dragging and dropping. All right, so now I have myself 12 monthly pages all ready to go, all ready to be written in the different dates. I love the fact that it's undated so I can make it however I want. But now I wanna make sure that I create a section for this. So I'm just gonna do the drop down arrow here and I'm going to add this to my outline. I'm gonna add this page to my outline and I'm gonna title it monthly calendar and then I'm gonna add it. So now it shows right here. At any point in time, I can click on the outlines tab and it will show me my monthly calendar and I can just click on that and it'll take me right to the monthly calendar no matter where I am in the planner. This helps keep me super organized, but I'm gonna go back to that thumbnail view. Now that we've created the monthly calendar section, I've got all of that set up and ready to go. I am going to create my daily to-do list section. I'm gonna do this simply by, there is multiple copies of this section here, because if you print it, you don't have to print out multiple copies. You could actually just press print on your printer. It would print off three months worth of all of this and you wouldn't have to move anything around. But for me, I don't want that many things in my digital planner. I tend to get lost on where I'm at. So I'm just gonna take one week's worth of to-do lists. They're each label by day, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And so I'm gonna take one week's and I'm gonna pull it up to the top right under the monthly calendar. All right, so now I have my Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday all in one spot. I'm gonna add another bookmark right here, and that is, or to my outline, I'm gonna add that there, and that's gonna be my to-do list. The reason why I just pull up one week's worth of to-do lists, and I'm gonna delete all the rest of the to-do list pages in this um, in this digital copy is because I don't need to keep my to-do list pages. They're my daily to-do list. I like to have more than just one day because sometimes I need to transfer stuff over if it didn't get done or I'll have um, prayer requests in here that I wanna keep and pray through all the week. But for the most part, one week is really all I need. So I'm gonna have my weekly to-do list right here, and then I will be able to just, at the end of the week, clear those pages. After I've written on my list, I can click up here at the little dots, and I can clear the page. And that will help me start fresh. It keeps me from being bogged down in a million to-do lists, and um, just keeps one week at a time. Next, I'm gonna put my meal planning page because this is a super helpful page that helps you break down breakfast, lunch, and dinner and your shopping list all in one. So we're just gonna move that after the to-do list page so that I can easily find it. And again, I'm just gonna add that page to the outline. And with this, I think I wanna duplicate this because 
I really would like to have my monthly, I'd like to have four pages so I could do all my meal planning for the month without having to clear it so I can go back and look at further ones. So we can just click on that little arrow and click duplicate. And that is really going to help us stay on track Keep it all organized, nice and neat. This is the weekly page spread. I do this for my business ahead of time. I put any of my business to-dos on my regular to-do list. I can't keep two to-do lists going at one time, but it does help me prioritize for the week. What business things do I want to finish? And I get to kind of block them off what days I think I'm going to do them. I can have individual to-do lists. And when it comes time to daily lists, I'll just transfer those things over. So now I would duplicate those. Once I've selected all these pages, I can just press trash. They all disappear. And now I've got only the pages I want left. I'm just gonna reorganize them so that they're all grouped by like. Now that we're all done moving things around, I've got all of my purge it pages together, all these fun options of different coloring sheets all together. And then I can just duplicate these as I need to. It's really, really nice to have them. And then I have all my note pages together. Here's one last section that I want to show you guys before we end. And at the end of the planner, they have all of those extra pages I was telling you about at the beginning. Here they have your password um, pages. Here they have your contacts. Um, you've got pages for your monthly cleaning schedule. They've got zone cleaning. Here's food preparations for your favorite meals list, your family inventory for what their favorite activities are and clothes, their curriculum you're choosing for this year, your reading logs, your field trips, put it down pages. These are just different kinds of note pages and then that's it. So you can keep, you can use all of these tools that I've already taught you to keep add duplicate, take away anything you want. It's now a much shorter section. I've got my outline so I can quickly find whatever I need and I'm ready to write my to-do list, put on my calendar or any other pages I wanna put in. I know this video has been a little more technical than I usually get into, but I really wanted to show you guys how I put together this planner because it is such an amazing resource. If this was overwhelming to you, but you made it this far, just know that you don't have to move things around. You could open it up, use it as is, you could print it off and use it as a physical planner. You do not have to do what I just did, but I wanted to show you how you can personalize it so you can make the most of this planner. Be sure to check out the planner down in the description below. Stay tuned and subscribe because we've got more great videos coming out and we'll talk to you soon. Bye!